and welcome everyone to episode 86. Hey, does that mean we're canceled? 86? Uh oh. <laughs> of the great 55 and 5 series here on YouTube. Ian Riccoboni, Carrie Silk, and our producer AJ from Basan Creative and Web Design. No, Carrie, we're, we are not canceled. We're going Good. all the way to 121. That's now you have me thinking, what is that number? 86? I don't think it's 86. Yeah. But what? When you get 86 at a restaurant, that means it's not on the menu. I'm going to look this up. <laughs> My manager, Kevin, back at Perkins in okay. 2005. <laughs> I trust him. I trust him that he led me down the right path. Anyhow, no more Perkins talk. It's all about wrestling each and every weekday. Carrie and I have been going through every card, 121, one at a time, of the 1955 Perkhurst Wrestling Trading Card set. Now, the fun part is we have some guys that had Hall of Fame careers, we had some guys that had some not so Hall of Fame careers. We have guys that we can't even confirm existed. Uh, we also had a fun one last week where we had probably the biggest Japanese wrestling star of all time just appear on a card, not named, <laughs> just saying sumo wrestlers. So today, Carrie, your hint is a talking horse. Wait a minute. I love Mr. Ed. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going <laughs> to we're going to show this card. We're going to. Place him right on top of Uncle Gunny and Captain Lou, our spiritual successors. We call it 55 and 5 because it's 55 set, and we have five minutes on the clock. Carrie, what can you tell me about the great Matt Murray? <laughs> <laughs> well, nice picture. Yeah, good picture. They, they, they uh, I think they photoshopped his body. A, a little bit, yeah. Some of these late, yeah, that's card Put what? a little bulge in his pants. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who? Who wouldn't want the art art designer to do that, right? Well, what did you say about mid? Uh, I'm, I'm delaying here. What did you say about Mr. Ed? Oh, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. <laughs> right. So, how does that tie into Matt uh, Matt Murphy? Well, Matt Murphy, I had a number of appearances on television. Okay. And so, he that should give you a hint of where he started in wrestling. L.A. Yeah, he was an L.A. guy. He wrestled. Uh, he lived from 1920 to 1985. Got a late start. Didn't start until he was about 30. If the records and newspapers are right, 1950 was the first match they had for him. Started in L.A. Uh, 52 and 54 goes to Calgary, San Francisco. But by 54, he was back in L.A. and really appearing a lot on television as a wrestler. And he was kind of an opening match guy, but maybe middle of the card sometimes. He wrestled Mike DiBiase a lot, wrestled Joe Blanchard a lot. Uh, and he won a big televised 17 man tournament. Now, how they had 17. <laughs> Who's got a number like that? Yeah, maybe they had a play in, but he won four matches. Okay. And, and by winning the four matches, he won the tournament in 55. I want to hear about this talking horse thing. Yeah. <laughs> he was a rule breaker, 55 to 62, mostly in LA. Uh, continued in LA, wrestled Tex McKenzie, Gene LaBelle, Pedro Morales, Ernie Ladd, Eduardo Carpentier, Giant Baba, Mark Lewin. So he was a villain. He was a mid to upper card villain toward, <laughs> toward the end. Uh, just really a, a rule breaker. Really broke the rules a lot. Um, and he was a good early opponent for Nick Bockwinkel. All right. He was guy, kind of the guy that gives, gets credited for getting Nick Bockwinkel to where he needed to be early in his career. Okay. And there's actually a lot of YouTube footage because the guys that wrestled in LA in the 50s have a lot of YouTube videos. It's so well, it's well preserved. Did he make an appearance on Mr. Red? <laughs> he did. Yes. They had a wrestling Mr. Red episode? They did. He played a character called Killer Conklin on the rest wow. on, on the episode called I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah. Because uh something about Mr. Ed always I just found funny. Yeah. The, the guy uh oh god. Uh, the straight man, the, oh, Ed, Ed Zoner, yeah, Wilbur. Yeah. Do you know the uh, Wilbur? Do, right. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the first? All right, uh, fifty-five and five fans, fans of Ed free shows. We should be giving a gift here, but the gift is this information. What was the very first thing Mister Ed ever said on episode one? Was it Wilbur? <laughs> and it was, no. and it, was, it was not. How do you? <laughs> and well, Wilbur goes into the barn, and the horse, the horse. He he thinks he heard the the horse talk, and and will the Dick? What was it? Dick York? Now that was a guy from uh, <laughs> Dick York, Dick Patton, Dick, 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 Dick Van Dyke uh, from, from Monkey <laughs> Witch. But anyway, when Wilbur says him. You can talk. 
Yeah. <laughs> says, well, say something. So Mr. Ed says, what do you want me to say? He goes, say anything. And this is what, it was actually his third thing he said, but his first thing line was, all right, get a load of this. How now, brown cow? <laughs> and the land of the track mountain popped. popped so that, that, that's my... I attribute his first words. How now, brown cow? There you go. Which is from My Fair Lady, which was ah, at that time. Yes. <laughs> but uh, back to Matt Murphy, Matt Murphy was on the episode called The Wrestler, appropriately enough. Uh, I'm sorry, Killer Conklin, he played that character on a wrestling episode of The Munsters. I, that I've seen. Yeah. So he was he was Killer Conklin on that episode. He played a wrestler. Uh, I think he might have played himself on Mr. Ed. Did you ever see when Mr. Ed goes to Dodger Stadium? No. He's like, yeah, he gets signed <laughs> to the Dodgers. Like, what? <laughs> Walter, Walter Alston is in it. No way. And maybe like Don Drysdale or somebody. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. That would have been right after they moved to yeah. L.A. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, you can get down on some of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know a word. After you watch 55 and 5, check out Mr. Ed at MrEd.com. Um, amazing. <laughs> so Matt Murphy, good career, mostly in Los Angeles, became a bit TV actor, had a couple, had a lot of television appearances on various shows, but those are the two most notable. So That was fun. Yeah, fun one. And tomorrow, we got a hunk. Okay. Good. We got a bona fide A-list main event hunk. Coming right, up tomorrow. Hunk of hunks. There you go. So tomorrow, we hope you join us every weekday. We post these at 8 p.m. They're set to premiere 8 p.m. every weekday, Eastern Standard Time. And we thank you for watching this one. I want to thank AJ, Carrie, and you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow when number 87 comes your way. Happy wrestling, everybody. Bye.